Hey everybody, just a quick note on uh, Rome here. Um, Rome seems random, but it uh, it's random, but it's not. It's like a flow of uh, consciousness, and you don't. There's really not much rhyme or reason to how you have to enter stuff. But basically, we went back to um, go back to. Let's say today was February 27th, and I was thinking about um, rewilding, so I can just type a note about rewilding. And then let's say I was also thinking about uh, land trust, and um, I was also thinking about we need to move the fund fund to from Gitcoin. It's a stream of consciousness. Just add whatever you want. Um, and I can even do a to-do. So let's say do to-do. And I could enter my name, Timo, and then it creates a little to-do box. Um, but let's say I wanted rewilding to resurface on um, tomorrow, or to, which is today, the, the 28th. So I just do date picker and I just select this date and then it will show up. So the nice thing about Rome is you just enter whatever you want as bullet. And if you want it to be nested, um, so like, so main thought, I'm just main thought and then just like outlining second point third point sub point etc and you just keep it together and if you want to focus on a certain thing you just click the little dot and it takes you to that main outline and then you can go you can search for anything here um like let's say i wanted to find anything about rewilding i don't know if we have anything in the database yet um we obviously have some right here. Uh, for some reason, go to this rewilding. Yep, so we have its own page. Um, let's find some. So we have one linked reference, which Rome has already found it. And let's see if we find any unlinked reference. So look, found the one I just entered for February 27th. And it also has some governments that someone entered here, rewilding Chile. So let's just link all these, call them. So now that these are linked for rewilding, cool. So let's go back to daily notes. And this is where you start. You just enter anything. You're, it's on your mind, dream of consciousness. Don't worry about how it's organized. But for example, we just had a call with uh, Sarah of Regen Network here. And I did a hashtag meeting notes, which meeting notes uh, is actually a page title. It'll show us any meeting notes or um, you'd hashtag it and then it kind of hides it, kind of uh, makes it so it's not prominent, but it will show up in meeting notes. And then it's always linked to a date. So like we can go to meeting notes and we can say, okay, like property team right here met February 22nd. And I can go, go to February 22nd, see someone's been adding a lot of stuff. Then this is our site visit. Um, here's our meeting notes from the property team meeting later this day. And if I want to click on it, it shows what we talked about. And it, I even posted all the chat notes. So if you ever want to find meeting notes from property team, just go property team, go to um, this page right here. Shows property team, showing only two linked references, but let's look for unlinked reference. Oh, so we have one here, linked reference. Another one, uh, property meeting notes from February 10th. Some other ones, uh, February 10th as well. Now those are linked. But what I did today for, instead of putting this in Notion for the meeting with region, no, region um, whatnot, I just put this in um, Rome. And now, what we can do is like start to link stuff like scope one, scope two, scope three emissions, science-based targets. Um, like supply is actually something that I think is important. Vintage is important. So I can do double bracket. So anything you think is important, just double bracket. Like corporate finance is obviously important. So you double bracket it. MRV is important. So I double bracket it. And let's say I want to find anything about USDA. So um, I just click on USDA here and it shows someone's already got a USDA page going, three linked references. Uh, let's find some unlinked references. Here's a bunch. Link them all because those all apply. Um, so the beautiful thing is that now, you know, it, it just starts to create a network of like what we're looking at here. It helps us discover information, see what other people are working on. It's actually creating the, gra the graph right now, which I can zoom in on. And most of it is by date for now, but I can double click to remove log days. And then it actually starts to show us uh, costly out. This is, I like looking at it this way. So it shows us all these linked notes here. And then it shows us all these unlinked for whatever reason, these are like unlinked. But let's say mountain lion, click on that. It takes a page. For some reason it's not linked to other notes right now it's just in one note we can go cost layout and you can start to see what's linked and what's not linked see like where february 5th we obviously did a lot hackathon we did a lot decavolt fall that's that's the example we actually did for the hackathon but it starts to show where things are connected not connected or maybe where we have gaps you have some outliers like weird outlying connecting connecting point out here decavolt data a lot of this is decavolt because we haven't um, really updated much species interesting one shows so actually click on that and I uh, judging well the labs here species so I can see where species is connected and we can start to build a network so I think after a few more months we're going to start to see some pretty awesome uh, connections here where we can discover information go to like species here and someone's got indicator species uh, ecology tools and resources all sorts of stuff you can start to 
to link, you know, unlinked references, link them all. You know, let's say while I'm working in the species document, I wanted to see what's happening with Kaufman Ranch. I can do a shift click and it opens up Kaufman Ranch on the right. So I can actually look at like all this stuff while I'm in this note. And you can actually start to look at um, kind of draft stuff to, like here, like basin methodology, something I think would be super exciting for like draft outline. I have like basin methodology here, like preface, intro, IPBS, IPC. That's important. I want to link that. Biodiversity, I want to link that. So let's say I'm trying to add some stuff to related to like inclusive wealth. So I'm going to close this one over here. Let's say I'm writing this and I'm saying, what? What the frick is inclusive wealth that someone put in here? I can shift click and then someone, it will show me what, what comes up of inclusive wealth. And right now there's nothing in here because uh, I just added inclusive wealth, but like, uh, so I guess that's not a good example, but maybe adaptive capacity. Shift click this. So these ones I just added, so there's not much information. This thing, so I can start to like add this, like adaptive capacity, like chemo, chemo added and needs to from his personal room. So this is something I have tons of notes on, but you can start to see like how stuff could link together. Like obviously carbon, let's, let's try this one, carbon. Shift click. For some reason it's not showing me like the linked notes, but like here, right here, it shows me the linked references, unlinked reference lot. So 85 unlinked references. So I'm just going to go ahead and link them all. Start doing, go back here. I guess not a good example, but I think you get the point. Um, the idea being if like, okay, who has put any notes about Africa? Do a search for Africa, unlinked references. This is like people adding stuff about Africa, biodiversity offsets, West African forests, Encore, bird life. So I'm going to link all these. And then what we could do too is like uh, daily notes. Like it's like, okay, like who entered, um, close these. Like, let's say I I entered note here, like from Will and Jeff, Twitter DM with Timo. So, so now like shows like, oh, who entered this? Like, oh, Timo probably entered it. So you can start to look at like, oh, what is Timo enter entering? What has he been working on? Same thing, like go back to like Jeff, if he's added his name thing, you can start to see what he's been working on. But I, my feeling is we should use Rome for um, basically to capture anything text-based, anything we're working on, link it by date, you link it by keyword, and we just see um, where we're going. I think this is much more powerful than Notion. I think we still will use Notion for like boards and moving stuff along and tracking workflows and messaging and stuff. I mean, we need to talk about like that Discord and Notion, et cetera. But I think as our repository, as more and more people come on, this is gonna be super powerful and this is like our brain basically. So talk to you soon.